Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to get the uh, shift speed goals and the uh, not dying thing for the first level of the Ikaramba DLC, which is all the king's men. But anyway, at the start, what you want to do is run down this corridor and jump off here, and you can easily jump onto that platform. You want to hit that switch before you put the little uh, gravity and time capsules in, because that will release the safe over there early which saves maybe one or two seconds. And what you're going to do for most of this level is just use gravity to move safes around. So on that first little jump there, you can do it in two, but don't worry if you get four because there's a bit of room for error. And what you want to get here is the safe on the switch, which releases the next one. And when that one is between these two posts, that's when you want to hit the next switch, because that'll line up the uh, little conveyor belt thing. And when it starts to topple right there, like as soon as it topples, you want to hit it again because you can get it over really quickly to the next switch and with minimal uh, dimension shifts. Now this last one, once it gets that little straight bit there, it'll speed up the smallest amount. That's when you know to hit the switch to release the next conveyor belt and that'll line up alright. And now coming up here is my least favorite bit just because of this uh, conveyor belt here the the too wide one which you can turn because if you turn it too early when it turns back it could hit your uh, safe off the next conveyor belt and also if you turn it too late the momentum can uh, move the safe away and ideally what you want to happen here is have the safe that you broke the window with stay on the platform with you so that you can use it to sail back up to the top of the level didn't happen for me so I have to go through this really really annoying bit again but I'll speed it up to save a bit of time and I think in this second one um, the uh, little safe being pushed by the switch happens, see how it kind of like use the momentum of the uh, platform rotating that's not what you want to happen but regardless you want to ride that safe to the top go back to where you started and break a window using your box so we'll throw it, put it into heavy and then you have the fluffy dimension which you can just lob in from the top here and then use this box to break the window behind you which has a nice safe in it and this safe here is the only one you need for the rest of the level so treat it well and ideally what you want to happen here is to grab this statue and throw him down to that platform I, I don't know what I was doing I missed which sucks but there's a few more floating around which you can use after I drop this bad boy down so there's one on the left there usually and then there's two more on the opposite side if you've got that box, throw it over. Can't really hurt. In fact, it'll probably help you. But anyway, you want to grab some statue bits if they're there. Ideally, a whole statue. Because what happens with these guys is once you, um, like, throw them against the wall and the floor a few times, they'll break up into a few pieces. I think it's six pieces. I think it's at least five. I know that. But. Luckily enough, there's exactly five pressure plates that you need, so that's pretty handy. Once they're broken, you want to just pop a piece of each of them onto the switches. Oh, where are you? Yeah, a nice boot and this weird block thing. And an arm. Cool, so i got a bit on each. going to jump on this conveyor belt and then use this launching platform to get to the end of the level. So heavy mode, then fluffy, which will sail me up, and then I slow down to make it easy. And then I put it back into heavy, push the switches, and I'm done. It's a kind of fiddly level, but you get like over a minute worth of room for error and a lot of shift errors. So, you know, use that to your advantage. And uh, thanks for watching.